The magic number today is five. Hey everyone, my name is American. and welcome to a brand new American. and today we are going to talk about the five reality shows that I watch and I think you should be watching. Uh, so without further ado, uh, let's go. Shark Tank. Absolutely one of my favorite reality shows out there. I have been watching it all the way from season one until now. I will never stop watching it. I never get tired of it. And if you don't know what it's about, it's essentially a reality show contest where people who have businesses or ideas go pitch those businesses and or ideas to a crowd of investors, including billionaire Mark Cuban, and just you know, pitch their ideas and sometimes they get the money that they want, sometimes they don't. Always very entertaining and always very inspiring. The Prophet. This is a show I actually discovered last year and I have to say, I freaking love it. It's kind of in the vein of Shark Tank, but it's actually one business at a time. It follows this billionaire, Marcus Limonis, who goes across America looking for businesses to revitalize, reshape, and save. He has a very specific approach to it. Sometimes a little bit too much drama, but you know what? Mostly, I enjoy his approach. I enjoy the way he thinks about business. And again, one of those shows that tends to be very inspiring for me. Love, 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 love that show. It is one of the most entertaining shows out there. It follows this hotel expert, Anthony Melchiori, that goes across America and finds failing hotels, or hotels that have problems, and essentially does everything he can to fix them up, you know, give them a new foundation, and then move ahead. Again, it's got some drama in it, but it's not too much drama, and I also like the fact that there's like before and after. It's really cool to watch. It's a very entertaining show. Flip or Flop, that one is a kind of a new one. I actually had seen it, but I just was never really quite interested in watching it. But one of my friends who doesn't watch reality shows was like, that's a good show. He doesn't say much. So I decided to give it a shot, and he was right. It's a very entertaining show. It follows this couple of former real estate agents who decided to reconvert themselves into flip floppers. So they find really, really janky homes and buy them for a very, very small amount of money, renovate them and flip them. But sometimes they make money, sometimes they don't make money. So it's a very interesting show to watch. I know there's a ton of other shows like that out there, but I find that show very entertaining. Brain Games, I love that show. It is one of those shows in which you think you know how the world works and then they just flip it around on you. So it, every episode is usually on one topic, like how does your brain really see colors? How does your brain really understand certain emotions? So it's very, very smart and clever and it's always very varied. I enjoy watching it and I think you will too. So there you go. Those are my five reality shows that I watch and I think you should be watching. But if you have any other shows that you watch and you absolutely love and you think I would enjoy it, comment below and let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye. Before you go, did you know that your boy is on Snapchat? Yep, 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 yep. There's gonna be some information here on how to follow me on Snapchat. And this is a little sample of uh, some of the crazy Ness I do on Snapchat, not that crazy. It's just me, it's just me doing my thing. So if you want to follow me, follow me. If you don't, why? Why don't you want to follow me? I'm sad. I'm sad.